Now we are going to discuss question number four. Find out what do the terms algal bloom and red tides signify. So first we are going to talk about the algal bloom. Algal bloom term refers to the increase in number of algae or blue green algae that is cyanobacteria in water. So algal bloom refers to the uh, ref refers to the increase in number of algae or cyanobacteria in water. This increase in number of cyanobacteria or blue green algae in water actually discoloration this provides or causes discoloration of the water body. This also increases the biological oxygen demand when the number of cyanobacteria or blue green algae increases in water body. This increases the biological oxygen demand which can lead to the death of large number of fishes present in the water body as well as some other aquatic animals. Why this is so? Because if we are talking about the algal bloom, the algal bloom is just a rapid increase, increase in the number of blue green algae or cyanobacteria. If the number of cyanobacteria or blue green algae is being enlarged or being increased in the water body, they will feed on the organic matter present in water body. And if they are feeding in the water body on the organic matter, they will require more oxygen. This increases the demand of biological oxygen demand. This actually, this is known as biological oxygen demand, BOD and this causes the death of fishes and other aquatic animals present in that particular water body. So this is known as algal bloom. If we talk about the second term given in the question that is red tides, then this red tide caused by dinoflagellates, this red tide caused by dinoflagellates such as gonioleax and this because of the large number of gonioleax or dinoflagellates, the sea appears red in color. The sea appears red in color in case of red tides and the water or any water body inside which the blue green algae multiplies and increase their number that water body becomes green in color and in case of red tides the sea becomes red in color because of the increase in number of dinoflagellates such as gonioleax. These red dinoflagellates or gonioleax actually releases some toxic substances or toxin chemicals in the water body or sea due to which the large number of fishes and other aquatic animal actually dies. So this is red tide and this is your algal bloom. If you want to write the answer then first we are going to talk about the algal bloom algal bloom so algal bloom is the term refers the term refers to the increase in number of blue green algae of blue green algae in water body in water body basically they reside on the surface of any water body that is why the water body looks green in color so the term algal bloom refers to the increase in number of blue green algae. The water body, the water body hence looks green in color, looks green in color because of large number of 
algae present there and this also increases this also increases BOD this also increases BOD now what is BOD biological oxygen demand this also increases biological oxygen demand and because of this increased biological oxygen demand most of the fishes present in the water body because of this increased biological demand most of the fishes and other aquatic animals dies aquatic animals dies all right so this is algal bloom if we talk about the red tide red tide so this causes this causes or caused by red dino flagellates red dino flagellates such as goniolex such as goniolex So this caused by red dinoflagellates such as gonadolex and because of increased number increased number of these dinoflagellates these dinoflagellates the up, uh, the sea the sea appears the sea appears red because the dinoflagellates are red appears red and they release they release toxin substances toxic substances into the sea which leads which leads or results into the death of death of large number of fishes large number of fishes and also some other aquatic animals present in that sea so this is the basic difference between algal bloom and red tide and we have already discussed what is algal bloom but what is red tide algal bloom is caused by cyanobacteria or we can say the blue green algae which increases biological oxygen demand and this increased biological oxygen demand actually leads to the death of fishes present in that water body and the red tide is caused by dinoflagellates red dinoflagellates specifically and uh, that this gonadolex specifically this gonadolex this gonadolex is actually a member of red dinoflagellates which is responsible for causing red tides in the sea the sea actually appears red in color because of the large number of red dinoflagellates in sea these red dinoflagellates releases toxic substances which lead or result into the death of a large number of fishes or aquatic organisms present in that sea so this is a complete solution of question number 4